So this session now is how to raise up people to serve God. So do you want to raise up people in the church to serve God, that they want to serve God, that they want to do things for God, they don't want to do evangelism, and raise up evangelists in your church, raise up pastors in your church. That's very important for the church to grow, to have revival. Now first, we need to understand that God really likes people to serve Him. Now, but not everyone is called to be a pastor. Um, now, it takes steps. If a person has to feel the calling to be a pastor, first he needs to do evangelism, to do uh, discipleship, training of Christians, and praying for people. And gradually, when he is doing these things, he finds that he, f he has a stronger and stronger motivation to serve God. And then until he really say, I have to go into ministry, that is showing that he has the calling to, to be a pastor. But not everyone is called to be a pastor. Now, everyone call, is called to, to be a witness. Everyone should be a witness. But some people are called to be a farmer. Some people are called to be a merchant. Uh, some people are called to be a housewife. But we all can serve God. So, but we want to raise up people to serve God, not just minister, but Everyone in a church should be serving God. John 12, 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my Father will honor. So, if anyone serves me, let him follow me. Let him have a close relationship with me. This is Jesus said. Uh, Jesus saying, have follow Jesus. And where Jesus is, there my Jesus' servants will also would be also. If anyone serves Jesus, him the Father will honor. The Father will honor him. So when we serve God, God will honor us and God is pleased with us. God will bless us. Now some people say, might say, okay, I want to be a minister, but I don't know if I should be a minister. Then I would just say this. You try doing evangelism, discipleship, training other people, praying to God more, praying for people. You try doing this. As you do this, you find that you have more and more motivation. You have a stronger motivation and you can see results of what, what you do. You probably are called by God if you feel that motivation to become a pastor. But if someone has no job to do, has no work, no money, then he says, if I become a pastor, maybe I get some money. That's not the reason to become a pastor. We must have the motivation to serve God and also practice serving God and then find out if we are called to do that. And then good and faithful servants can enter God's joy. Matthew 25, 21, His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of my Lord, of your Lord. So when we are faithful, first being good, that means being kind, loving, uh, holy, uh, you know, faithful, being a good person, and faithful in um, care, uh, obeying God and serving God doing the things that God has commanded us to do. You are faithful over a few things because, you know, when I read this one time, I actually, I mean, hurt, I hurt. I was listening to the tape one time, the tape that read the Bible. I listen to it all the time. And I suddenly, I have heard this verse many times before, but that time when I heard you were faithful over a few things, then, I asked myself, why, why is a few things? This servant has earned five talents. Why is it a few things? And then I, I said, maybe because for us, most of the time we might not be serving God. We might serve God certain time of the day, but not the whole day. So I said to myself, I want to serve God over more things. So I start to do this all day long as much as possible I praise God as much as possible glorify God tell people about Jesus so uh, so I have this idea I don't you know I, I want to at least to be faithful over more things now maybe 
I was faithful over so many things in the past, but now I praise God all the time. I glorify God more. Then I am faithful more over more things. So that's my desire. And then Jesus said, I'll make you ruler over many things and enter into the joy of your Lord. So God will be happy with us if we are a good and faithful servant and we can enter the joy of the Lord. Now, we have no choice in this parable. The servant who hides his talent is called a, a wicked and lazy servant and he's thrown into the outer darkness where he will be gnashing his teeth. So we have no choice. Everyone has to serve God. But when we serve God willingly, God is very happy. We don't go to heaven by serving God. But when we have real faith, the real faith will change our lives so that we want to serve God. We want to glorify God. Every real Christian has the motivation to serve God. And then warning. 